Kwapa, my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's Melanie Mishi. This is actually the end of the video. If you're seeing this, it means that I didn't film an intro, so I'm just preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. So, um, if I look a little different, it's because I filmed taking you guys out with me, going shopping, doing my lashes for the first time, doing my hair, bye the most talented braidist I've ever come across. Makeup, shopping, all that good stuff. So if you guys wanna know how to have a cute girl summer, then keep on watching. Hey guys, first and first I'm gonna get my braids done. I'm gonna get some tribal braids. Um, yeah, I'm at the Lady Tower, so I'll just show you what it looks like after. But yeah, this will be the first, first step of a cute girl summer. So let's see what it looks like. First step of cute girl summer is officially through. Look at these braids, guys! Are you seeing these partings? Look, it's the neatness for me. It's the consistency for me. It's the baby hairs for me. So the person who did my braids is Braids by Naz. Yeah. You wanna say hey? Hey, hey people! <laughs> yeah. Literally, I feel like I've not reached my full potential in life up until this point. Like. I was a caterpillar and now I'm a freaking butterfly. What yeah, is this? Yeah, yeah. That's what I be doing here. She be doing the best. Instagram will be down below. Guys, she's South London based as well. Just, just book with her, okay? Next step to cute girl summer is toes. Um, I don't even want to show you the state of my one, guys, but I might show you when we get there. At this point in time, it's not even self care, it's a necessity, so let's do this. Right, so today we're gonna tackle my nails. If you guys have watched one of my previous vlogs, you would know that I'm trying to do my nails at home myself. A, to save money, B, because I feel like when you go to some na some nail salons, they don't really care for like, the natural health of your nail, and each time I would take off my SNS or gel nails, like my nail would just be so, so weak. So yeah, doing it myself at home, the way I like to do it. This is the state of my nails at the moment. They're quite dry as well but I'm not gonna moisturize them because you need your fingernails to be dehydrated. Just a little bit of them. Uh, my nails were actually a lot longer before, but I had to cut them because they were just too long for work. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what I do to add to this like, cute girl summer look. Yeah. Are you ready? Um, I need a little tray or something for this, to be honest. Have you made a big risk? Okay, go back. I didn't see any of this. I didn't see this at all. Sit back. Move okay. back. I was sleeping on and off. Okay, go back, 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 go back. Oh my god, I'm shutting my eyes. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm gonna have to finish my nails once I get home because I have a eyelash appointment. This is the first time that I'm getting my lashes done, guys. I'm super excited. Hence why I've had to whip out the glasses because you're not meant to wear contact lenses for the appointment. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk to the girl, see what she says, uh, see what she recommends, and then go home. Bye. tell from my lashes they're looking a bit crazy but i'm gonna wash them later as part of a cute girl summer obviously gotta get our body in check my brows are crazy wait a second i'm saying cute girl summer whilst i'm looking here very ratchet so yeah as part of cute girl summer your brows need to be in check all the time if you're not going to be wearing makeup, your brows need to make sense. Um, and your hands should be moisturised. Uh, but no, I'm going to be going to the gym and show you a couple of snippets of the makeup that I do today. So, let's go. That beat come in so hard and so nasty. I stick to the butt. No time for the thoughts. No time for the butt. She go scared or not. They off white on my top. Play J. Rowley watch Supreme on my lux 350s when I walk I stick to the plot No time for the ducks No time for the box She gon' scared or not Ay, a white on my top Play J. Rowley watch Supreme on my lux 350s when I walk hey, hey. A shower and i thought i would show you guys the current skincare routine that i'm implementing as you guys know i have very sensitive skin so i'm very selective with the type of products that i choose to use um this range is very actually very rose focused <laughs> everything is rose at the moment i don't know why this wasn't intentional obviously rose is super gentle and calming and soothing for irritated skin so that's why I guess I'm currently <laughs> using this routine. I literally didn't even plan this out. You honestly wouldn't believe me. Anyway, so the first product that I'm gonna be using is by Pixie. This is their Rose Tonic. So my entry into Pixie was through their Glow Tonic. But sometimes because I've got very sensitive skin, I wouldn't want something super exfoliating on my skin, but I still wanted to feel toned. So I love that it's got rose water, aloe vera juice, and glycerin as some of the top ingredients. And it's actually got a bit of hyaluronic acid here as well, which would make you think that it's a super moisturizing product, but it still kind of gives you that kind of effect when you use it. So yeah, I really enjoy that. Next, I'm gonna be using Heritage Store Rose Water. This one I just get from Amazon, honestly. I think it's like, eight pounds or something. Super affordable. This bottle lasts me ages. And it's just a nice way to hydrate your skin before you go in with skincare because you always wanna start with a slightly moist, like H2O rich surface before you go in with heavier products. I have no earrings on. Wait. 
if you're gone in and you have no earrings on, you know exactly how I feel right now. I just feel like a boy. Wait. That's better. The cream I'm gonna be using today is by Nils Yard. They actually sent this one to me, um, but I'm gonna give my honest, honest take on the cream. So it's the Wild Rose Glow Day Cream. 12 hours moisturization, certified organic. I'm pretty sure it's vegan and it's just got very like natural ingredients in it. I think like 90 something percent of the ingredients are meant to be natural, but anyway. So I really like the, the consistency of the cream. It's um, very lush, very soft um, and quite luxurious feeling, let's say. I've been using this cream consistently for probably two weeks now and my skin has just felt super moisturized. I know it looks like I put a lot on, I probably did put too much on, but anyway, I have, I have very dry skin, so the way it's made my skin feel for the last two weeks, it's just really supple and soft. It's been very calm, like I've barely broken out despite the fact that I wear, I get maskiny quite easily. But the one irk that I have of the cream is the smell. I know it's natural ingredients, but the smell is very rosy. You know when you can get a light rose and then you get a rose rose? This is a rose rose. So that being said, I still like the cream and I'm definitely gonna finish this and I may even continue to use it because it makes my skin feel really good, but just as a heads up, the smell's strong. And I'm also using the eye cream this definitely moisturizes my eyes really well and I feel like it makes the skin around my eyes feel very plump as well. So I don't know about you, but hay fever has been kicking my butt this year. Like I, I didn't have hay fever when I was like younger, like a teen. And then suddenly in my adulthood, I developed hay fever and every year it gets worse. <laughs> So the skin around my eyes has been, I've been, I've been itching it like a bitch, let's be real. Um, so super important if you have hay fever or allergies or anything that just irritates your eye area to use eye cream every day because we want to age well, we want to age gracefully, we want to be able to say black don't crack and claim to it without like fronting, you know. <sighs> so yeah, eye cream. And then finally, because I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup, I'm gonna go in with an occlusive. I'm gonna be using squalene. You can use this before your cream actually, but I like to use it as a final stage when I'm putting makeup on, just because it gives my skin a very radiant finish when I'm finished with my makeup. So yeah, I'm only gonna use a couple drops. As you can see, nothing major. Don't forget your neck. guys what I bought when I went shopping. I actually picked up quite a few bits from Primark which I'm really happy about like I don't go into Primark that often at all but they're doing bits like the fact that I found jeans that actually did what it needed to do was just 
amazing. I bought these vintage mum jeans. I'm gonna show you guys in a clip here. I'm always in the hunt for more jeans that are not skinny jeans, just because I feel like we've passed that at this point in stage. There's no point being uncomfortable and not allowing your food to digest all in the name of fashion, do you get me? So when I saw these in this wash, I was like, yes. And I actually would have preferred to have got a size six, but they didn't have any. So I just settled with a size eight. I think I saw this hack on, I don't know if it was TikTok or Instagram, of how to make jeans work if they fit perfectly everywhere other than your waist. Um, and yeah, I love these. I probably will get them taken in at some point just because I feel like it's such a solid denim piece and I'm very happy to have it in my wardrobe. The next piece I got from Primark is this kind of sheer top, but it's really quite thick. Like I like the fact that it is a little bit sheer, but not that sheer. And I'm all here for the racer kind of checkered vibe. Um, and if you guys look really carefully, it's not actually like all straight. It kind of goes with the shape of your body, which I feel like is so flattering. It just fits so nicely on. And this was six pounds, so can't go wrong with that. Primark are really coming through with the cute tops. Um, so I picked up this number, a bit bright, but um, you'll be able to see in this clip here. Same colors as the previous top I picked up, but obviously in a kind of more zebra-y, hippie type of wave. Again, it looks so good on my chocolate skin. I really like how browns look on my skin when I have a tan, and this just makes my melanin pop. Obviously, I had to share this with you guys as well. And then the final piece I got from Zara. So it's this dress that I'm wearing right now. Look at how flattering it is. Not gonna lie. Um, I have recently come off the pill. I feel like a lot of people have come off the pill recently though. Um, for reasons that I may explain in a different video, but anyway. So my titties are a bit more saggy than usual. Um, they've regained a little bit of their oomph, but not as much as before. But I feel like this dress just helps me to embrace the sagginess. <laughs> they hold them up nicely, but not too much. There's a really lovely stretch to it. It's very well formed and it was only 12 pounds. Those are all the pieces that I picked up. Um, I will try to link what I can down below. I don't know if Primark have online, but I'll definitely link the Zara dress. I guess that concludes Cute Girl Summer. I love Meg the Stallion, but some girls want to have a cute girl summer. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as per usual. And I'll see you in the next one.